Okay, this is Naughty Claudine's Christmas by Patrick Jennings. Illustrated by Suzanne Kaufman. It's almost like a mommy name. Almost like mommy's name, yeah, you're right. Two from. Mm hmm. Naughty's Claudine's Christmas by Patrick Jennings. Illustrated by Suzanne Kaufman. My last name is Suzanne. Mm -hmm. Susanna. Claudine was not fond of Santa. He watched you when you were sleeping and when you were awake, which was snooping. He decided who was naughty or nice, and naughty kids didn't get Christmas presents, which wasn't nice. He landed on your house in the middle of the night, then snuck inside, which was rude. Claudine did not want him to come to her house. If he doesn't come, said big sister Maxine, you won't get any presents. I don't care, Claudine answered, though she did. She wanted presents, she just didn't want Santa to break into her home. She's right. At the Polar Pavilion, Claudine stood in line for Santa. She asked Santa's helper to tell the real Santa that she liked her present mail to her house instead of carry down her chimney. I tell them, said the helper replied. Thank you, Claudine said and walked away. Maxine said it didn't work that way, that Santa would come nevertheless. Because Claudine was not naughty, she was nice. Claudine thought about this. And then she banged. At home she bubbled. She splashed. Then she did this. Why did you do that, Claudie? Her dad asked. I'm naughty. Claudine answered. Is she naughty? No. No? By doing all these things, you don't think she's naughty? She's naughty. She's naughty. Yeah? At bedtime, Claudine sang at the top of her lungs. Her mom came in and asked her to stop. Claudine stopped. Night, holy night. After her mom left, she started up again. The next day was December 24th. Claudine did not make her bed on purpose. She left her pajamas on the floor on purpose. She painted the soles of her feet pink and marched back and forth across the kitchen floor. She blew her nose on mom's skirt. Ugh. She moved the bookmark in her dad's book. She didn't respect her sister's personal belongings. If you keep this up, Maxine said, Santa really will not give you any presents. Claudine winked. He'll still come though, Maxine said, to bring me my presents. He will? Of course, hmm. Claudine said. Claudine decided to go downstairs and stand guard. Can't go downstairs on Christmas Eve, Maxine said. Max. Claudine said, I'm being back. Claudine tiptoed through the dark house. Being naughty was scary. She camped out in front of the fireplace. He won't get by me, she told herself. What is she doing? Sleeping. Sleeping? The dog is awake. Yeah. What? Maxine shrieked. No presents. I guess your naughtiness worked, Claudia, her dad said, and walked to the kitchen to start breakfast. Uh, will you bring in the paper, Claudine? Her mom asked. Claudine was happy to escape her sister's glare. <gasps> What's this? Paper outside. I Paper outside? No, 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 I'm present outside. Dear Claudine, I know you don't like me to come down the chimney. I hope you don't mind my leaving these out here. Ho, 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 Santa. P.S. I know you're not so naughty. It's not easy to fool a wise old elf like me. Uh, this is his present? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I like this one.